Hi, welcome to Kauzalwai's channel. This is the continuation video of transportation problem. I have already uploaded list of videos on this topic. You can find the links in the description box. In this video, we are going to see how to solve transportation problem by using VAM method in case of tie. Please try to watch the complete video to get the clarity about this topic. Now let's get into the video. See the problem. Find the initial basic feasible solution to the following transportation problem using Ogle's approximation method that is VAM method. So here we have cost matrix, three sources and four destinations A, B, C and 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. And supply 30, 40, 50. Demand 25, 35, 40, 20. Okay. With this information, they ask you to find out the basic feasible solution of the transportation problem using VAM method. Okay. So, in order to proceed the problem, first we need to check whether the problem is balanced one or unbalanced. For that, first check the demand and supply total. See, supply 30 plus 40 plus 50, 120. Check the demand 25 plus 35 plus 40 plus 20, 120. So, this problem is balanced one. Now, we can proceed further. See, in order to solve the problem under VAM method, we need to follow few important steps. The first step is, we need to find row penalty and column penalty. For that, we need to find the difference between smallest and second smallest element in each row and each column. That is, look at the first row. The least value in the first row is 3. The next least value is 4. What is the difference between these two values? 1. So, this is row penalty for the first row. Okay. In the same way, find out row penalty for each and every row. The second row, the least value is 1. The next least value 5. Difference between these two values? 4. In the third row, least value is 2. Next least value 3. Difference? 1. These are the row penalty. In the same way, we need to find out column penalties. Look at the first column. The least value is 1. Next least value 3. Difference? 2. Look at the second column. The least value is 4. The next least value is 7. Difference? 3. In the third column, least value is 3. The next least value 5. Difference is 2. Okay. In the fourth column, the least value is 2. The next value is 4. Difference? 2. Okay. After finding row penalty and column penalty, the next step is we need to find out the highest penalty. So, here 4 is the highest penalty. Okay. So, this 4 represents this particular row. Okay. So, I am going to select this row. After finding the particular row, we need to select the least cost. In this particular row, which one is least value? 1 is the least value. So, now I am going to allocate the value by comparing the demand and supply of this particular cell and I am going to allocate the minimum value. Okay. See here. 25 and supply is 40. So, which one is minimum? 25 is the minimum value. So, we can allocate 25 here. So, after allocating 25, here we will be getting 0 and here we will be getting 15. Okay. Now, this particular column is 0. No, just cancel this column. Now, we need to repeat the same procedure. Okay. That is uh, finding row penalty and column penalty. Okay. For row penalty, the least value is 4, the next least value is 7, difference 3. The second row, 5 and 7, difference 2. Then 2 and 3, difference 1. Now calculate column penalty, the first column dash, in the second column the least value is 4, the next least value is 7, difference 3. Okay, the third column, 3, 5, difference 2. The fourth column 2, 4, difference 2. Now we need to select the highest penalty. So in this stage, the highest penalty is 3, but this value is there in two places 3, 3. Okay, this is called as tie. In case of tie, at the time of finding the highest penalty, there is a rule to proceed further. The rule says that 
Select the row or column having minimum cost. Suppose if I select this three means in this particular row the minimum cost is 4. Okay. Now I am going to compare the other option. If I select this three means the least value in this particular column is 4. Here again I am getting tie. Okay. Suppose if I get two different value means I can select the least cost. Suppose here 3 means I can select this particular cell and I can proceed further. But in this problem even the least cost also tie. Okay, in that case what to do? How to proceed further? Okay, now we need to check the maximum allocation. Suppose if I select this cell means the allocation will be just compare demand and supply 30, 20. So least value is 20 no. So I can allocate 20 here. Suppose if I select this particular cell means just compare the demand and supply 35 and 50. The least value is 35 now. So 35. Now compare the two values, two allocations 20 and 35. Which one is maximum allocation? This one is maximum allocation. So I can select this particular cell. That is I am going to select this penalty as highest penalty in case of tie. So, I have selected this penalty. Okay. So, in this particular column, the least value is 4 and have allocated 35. By comparing demand and supply, the least value is 35. No. So, I have allocated 35. Now, the balance is 15 and here 0. So, now this particular column will get cancelled. Again, you have to repeat the same procedure to find the row penalty and column penalty. See, in the first row, the least value 4, the next value 7, difference 3. In the second row, 5, 9, difference 4. In the third row, 2, 3, difference 1. In the same way, column. First column, second column, nil. In the third column, least value 3, the next least value 5. So, difference 2. The last column, 2, 4, difference 2. Okay, after finding the row penalty and column penalty, we need to select the highest penalty. So, 4 is the highest penalty. So, I am going to select this particular row. In the particular row, which one is least cost? 5 is the least cost. So, I am going to allocate this particular cell by comparing the demand and supply. So, demand 40, supply 15. So, which one is minimum value? Supply is minimum value. So, allocate 15. This will get 0. And here we will be getting balance 25. Okay, so this 0 no. So this particular row will get cancelled. Okay, again you have to repeat the same procedure. Find out the row difference and column difference. 4, 7 difference, 3. Second column dash. Third column 2, 3 difference, 1. Okay, in the column difference, first and second nil. In the third column difference, 3 and 7 difference is 4. In the last column 2, 4, difference is 2. Okay, so among the penalties, which one is highest penalty? 4. Now, I am going to select this particular column. In this particular column, the least value is 3. So, I am going to allocate this particular cell by comparing demand and supply. 15, 25. Least value is 15, no. So, 0. Here, balance 10. This one is 0. So, this particular row will get cancelled. So, now we have only one row. Simply you can compare the least one. 4 is the least value. So, I am going to allocate this particular cell by comparing demand and supply. 30, 20. So, 20 is the minimum value. 0. Here balance 10. Okay. So, cancel. Finally, we have only one cell. No other option. Simply compare the demand and supply. The last cell you will be getting equal value, equal demand and supply. 10 and 10. So, allocate 10. That's all. So, the entire demand and supply got allocated. Now, we need to find out the total transportation cost. Okay. For that, just multiply the cost with the allocated value and add up the entire thing. Okay. That is 10 into 7 plus 20 into 4 plus 25 into 1 plus 15 into 5 plus 35 into 4 plus 15 into 3. Total transportation cost 435. Okay. So, this is the initial basic feasible solution 
according to wam method okay so this is the way to solve wam method in case of tie in the next video we are going to see wam method for unbalanced transportation problem you can find the links in the description box hope you like this video please hit the like comment subscribe and share with your friends thank you